this spoken word poem was written as part of the Walk in the Light celebration, which took place at the National Theatre on the 21st of July 2013. It's called I'll Walk With You. You have done the state some service and we know it. You walked from off the whispering sands, held hands with familiar strangers, excited by the dangers that lay in the land of kings and queens, England, a place you'd heard about, read about, saluted and sung to. And as you sailed or flew, England was the young dream you clung to. You left behind sisters and singing grands, children, warning fathers and silent mothers whose only words were to God, take care of my child, Lord. Don't let them hurt my child. And as you landed in England, now with no sand beneath your feet, no road, now street, perhaps another black face smiled and said, come, I'll walk with you. It takes a special heart to set foot in lands untrod, like a bird whose soul knows the way, but whose eyes yet do not. What waits there? What will I find? Will I be equipped to free myself from the pitfalls and snares that may lay ahead? With God's amazing grace, I believe I will. So as you made your way down Finsbury Park, up Notting Hill, you thought you heard Jesus whisper, I'll walk with you. Every man in his time has roots to sow, as every woman has flowers she must grow, that color and scent the world, they dance, they blow, even the poinsettia will grow in snow. The first time you saw snow, oh Lord, like icy sand, and you ran outside to see with your hand, and others said, I'll walk with you. England had questions for you. Can I touch your hair? Can you get a suntan? Do you have to wash your hair? Why aren't the bottoms of your feet black too? You wrote home to tell your stories to the veranda. Everybody good? Sister such and such dead? But you didn't tell of the looks you got about being called wog outside the paper shop or about the jokes grinning men made on the box. Those were stories only understood if you walked these snowy neighborhoods. But even through that, even when the skinhead spat, every black smile that nodded along the pavement seemed silently to say, keep cool man, I'll walk with you. To every storm there is a spring. This land may sting, but so can it sing. When the trees blush green and the gardens awake, in England every man, if he chooses, is born with a handshake. So in time, the Greek, the Indian, the Turk, the Chinese, the Jew, open their ears to your story too. For every woman and man at first and finally is a story. See, you'd come clutching a dream, wrapped up in the arms of your heart like a child. You had a voice in your head and the voice was a story saying, tell me, share me, show me. A million daybreak songs like grains of sand, flakes of snow waiting to be seen, to be believed. Tell me, share me, show me, grow me. Stories the old people have told for a thousand thousand. Stories and characters brought alive to the sound of the sea, to the kisses of palm trees, under the gaze of the going sun. No, you did not come alone. You are storytellers, and your stories walk with you. Jesus and his disciples told stories. Stories are what we sing to a child, to soothe and salve, to comfort and clothe. No army is stronger than a story. Did we not grow being told by our teachers, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me? Bullshit. Names can hurt. Words can hurt more than any blow, for words are stronger than stones sharper than thorns, hotter than suns, wilder than weeds. Words can crack your heart or save your soul. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Words may even dare to have power over the senses. A demonstration. <clears throat> Rice and peas. See? So before I was a picnic at the table, you were telling stories wherever you could. In the theatre, the pub, the party, the school, the street, the church hall, the Albert Hall, the TV screen, the village green. You enchanted us. Perhaps you didn't know it, but you came into our home. And when you were there, you were surely much loved guests. So we said, we'll walk with you. You made us smile. 
so we'll walk with you. You made us laugh, so if we may, we'll go along with you. You answered Shakespeare, held a mirror up to nature, protected your stature through Enoch, through Thatcher, showed us ourselves. You plaited our hair and shaped our flat tops. We wanted to be as cool as Lenny Henry, as beautiful as Carmen Munro. Everyone in the playground liked you, and because they liked you, they liked me. Or was it the other way around? To behold faces looking back that were not stretched with suspicion, nor smiling with hypocrisy. To my child's eyes, you looked like my uncle, my big fat auntie, my mother's dear friend. So I skipped along with you. Then, as long as you could sing and share stories, you were home. From you, I learned that home is wherever one's voice can soar, in song, in story, in grief, in fury, that if you have a song, you must sing it at the top of your voice. Unknowing or knowing, you raised us up. You walked. You walked through Albert Square and Sloan Square. We watched you walk. You did not limp, nor strut, nor bow your head. We saw you walk through the barber shop, through the hospital ward, through the bill. We saw you give Alf Garnet and Mr. Rigsby as good as they gave. Opportunity knocked, and you walked in. New faces, we saw you walk. You walked the news at 10 walk through the watching eyes of the BBC, through the swinging doors of the NT. You did not shuffle nor shrug any chip on anyone's shoulders. You walked as a river walks to the sea. My people walk. Walked in, took your seat and said, good morning. And because of you, I felt the sun. I felt warm. And I said to myself, I'll walk with you. You let me walk with you. But time was when the theatre lowered its curtains to you. Why can't we play Othello? Why must that actor black his face? It took a voice to demand that question in this place. And though the theatre shut its doors to you for seven long years, you worked and provided and taught and thought and fought all the while with a story in your hand and a voice in your heart. And you walk still <clears throat> in the stretched out summer through the season of goodwill with words at your lips rolling like salt waves, words that leap like flying fish from the deep, words that fall like rain from the tropical blue, words that bust like a drum, like a cutlass on cane, words that sear like a ball, licking wickets, slip like rum. Mother used to say, you've got to be twice as good. Well, you were twice as good, a thousand times, because you were first. To be the first, to let loose and take with you a song, a word, a dance, a step. So to this endeavor, we must say thank you. Just as the only true reply to the waking sun must be thank you, thank you, thank you. And just as when it rises in the sky and takes its sweet time passing by like an old church lady so that the whole world can see and pay respect, so the children and the trees must say thank you. The water and the vagabond say thank you. The day and the dawn must say thank you. Then we cannot help but walk along also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a child of the earth full of uncertainty and hatching hopes. Yet as I pass through London and Leeds, through Liverpool, Birmingham, through Newcastle and Sheffield, Manchester, Cambridge, Nottingham, my eyes drop to the pavement and I see footprints. They are yours. I recognize them because they look like mine and I am grateful, I am happy and I know what I must do. So if I may, I'll walk with you. I'll walk with you. I'll be glad enough to walk with you. Oscar James, I'll walk with you. Yvonne Brewster, I'll walk with you. Mustafa Matura, I'll walk with you. Alfred Fagon, I'll walk with you. Mona Hammond, I'll walk with you. Jeffrey Kissoon, I'll walk with you. Carmen Munro, I'll walk with you. Nina Baden Semper, I'll walk with you. Wale Shoyinka, I'll walk with you. Rudolf Walker, I'll walk with you. Don Warrington, 
I'll walk with you. Pearl Prescott, I'll walk with you. Edric Connor, I'll walk with you. Anton Phillips, I'll walk with you. Lloyd Record, I'll walk with you. T-Bone Wilson, I'll walk with you. Cleo Sylvester, I'll walk with you. Stefan Khalifa, I'll walk with you. Derek Griffith, I'll walk with you. Olu Jacobs, I'll walk with you. Norman Beaton, I walk with you.